through all the series of competitions, it all boils down to just one question. This will seal the fate of our four finalists. Based on their answers and overall impact, the judges will choose who among them deserves a crown. Here's how it goes. Each finalist has a designated envelope containing the question in English and, if applicable, their native or preferred language. This means there will be no need for an interpreter at that point. I will read the question once, and each top four delegate will be given 30 seconds to respond. If an interpreter is needed, only then does he or she translate the answer. Okay, are we clear on this? Because I'm not so clear on it, but <laughs> let's begin with Ecuador. Oh, okay. So, please pick your designated envelope containing the question. As I state the question, you will simultaneously read it on your card written in both English and in your preferred language. I will give you exactly 30 seconds to respond, and if you need an interpreter, he or she will also be given 30 seconds to translate your answer. Now, when you hear this, that means you only have 10 seconds left. Are you ready? Okay. Take your card. Yep. All right, you can read it. In your manifesto earlier, why did the Miss Earth 2011 delegates choose education as the environment initiative that world leaders should prioritize? Magandang gabi, Filipinas. Well, I think education is the base. It's the base for everything. So I encourage my project to be teaching to campaigns for children that are the future because they are who are going to keep our Mother Earth for future generations and with people that we love. And I hope to you be part of my campaign. Thank you very much. Marami, marami, salamapo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Next up is Brazil. How are you doing tonight? You're okay? Okay. All right. Take your card anytime you're ready. This, your card is right here. Yep. So, same question. In your manifesto earlier, why did the Miss Earth 2011 delegates choose education as the environment initiative that world leaders should prioritize? Of course, Miss Brazil will be using a interpreter. So here comes the interpreter. É, Mabu Rai. Eu acho que as candidatas escolheram a educação ambiental como o ponto principal e do concurso, porque é exatamente o que as pessoas precisam. As pessoas precisam aprender a como tratar a natureza. As pessoas precisam de educação. Elas precisam, acima de tudo, entender o significado de uma palavra, share. Essa palavra é muito importante porque quando as pessoas conseguirem aprender o seu significado, elas vão parar com o consumismo exagerado. Elas vão entender que compartilhando a gente pode evitar é, desflorestamento, a gente pode evitar o uso errado dos recursos naturais. As pessoas precisam entender essa palavra, share. Compartilhar, não só isso, mas também um sorriso, um abraço, porque isso também alimenta a alma. In my manifest earlier, I said that in uh, that we chose education of environment because people need to know how to take care of nature and how to appreciate the beauty. Especially, people need to know about the word share, share responsibility for us to create a better earth. And that would start with education on how to um, take care of our natural resources and how not to damage them for the future generations. All right, and next up is Venezuela. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, you can pick your card. So, same question. In your manifesto earlier, why did the Miss Earth 2011 delegates choose education as the environment initiative that world leaders should prioritize? Uh, 
Venezuela will be using an interpreter as well. Mauhai, Philippines. La verdad es que yo creo que mis compañeras están en la razón, porque creo que la iniciativa, la educación ambiental realmente es el primer paso. I, I really, I, I'm really sure that my colleagues are, so, are right, because I think that the environmental education is the first step. La educación ambiental en los colegios, ya que los niños realmente son el futuro del mundo. The environmental education in the school, because the childs are the future for the world. Porque los jóvenes son la solución y la, los adultos son los que realmente tienen toda la experiencia de, y han visto realmente todo el cambio ambiental desde nuestro pasado hasta nuestro presente. The childs. Uh... <laughs> que los niños son los niños son el futuro. The, the los, childs are the future. Los adolescentes son los que tienen las soluciones y las van a ejercer. The, excuse me. The, the teenagers are the, the ones that have the solution, are, are the ones that are going to, uh, to do it. Los adultos the son adults, los que han visto los cambios del pasado all, al presente. The adults have seen, have seen all the change from the past to the future. Por eso realmente creo que este es, un, este es un buen comienzo, igual aplicando el reciclaje. No se trata nada más de diligencia política, social. For this, I, really think, I apologize, I apologize, but we've run out of time for the answer. For but, this, um, I really think that the applying the oh, it's okay. we, we've, recycling we've run out. and waste management is, will be the future for everything. So okay. thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Venezuela. Apparently, an answer so complex, an interpreter can handle it. <laughs> All right. Now, finally, we have Philippines. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Isang makakalikas ang gabi sa ating lahat. Okay, you can choose your card. And of course, you have the same question as the others. In your manifesto earlier, why did the Miss 2000, well, why did the Miss Earth 2011 delegates choose education as the environment initiative that world leaders should prioritize? The Miss Earth 2011 delegates chose education, the priority, this year because it is in education that everyone will be aware of what is the environmental condition today, not just in the Philippines, but in the whole world. We, thank you, we all know that we have different environmental issues and we have to be very concerned about all the environmental issues and we should act now. The people are the cause of these issues and we should all be the solution for these environmental concerns. Thank you very much. Iwagayway ang bandila ng Pilipinas. Thank all of you for your answers. Thank you very much. And that officially concludes the final round of competition for our four finalists, all vying for that one prestigious crown. To our judges and our audiences around the planet, here is one final look so you can make your final choice for Miss Earth 2011. Let's start with Ecuador. Brazil. Venezuela. Philippines. Coming up, a farewell to the reigning queen and a magnificent welcome to the new Miss Earth after this very short break. <laughs>